guys so today i have an absolutely massive massive book haul slash in my mailbox for you i have over 20 books to show you i'm gonna try and speed things up as much as i can but we're just gonna have to see how it goes um first of all i have a couple of things that were sent to me from some wonderful wonderful people um jen and bell from reading with pugs um very very kindly sent me um a moustache bookmark um i freaked out when i saw this um she contacted me saying that she wanted to send me something um and when i saw that it was this i was so excited because when she showed hers in a haul i was so envious i immediately tried to hunt down something similar over here couldn't find it but she was kind enough to send it to me i absolutely love it it has four different kinds of moustache on it and she also included some post-its that are moustaches and they're awesome and i love them so thank you so much jen and Belle. then um the wonderful Sue Morrow sent me this in the post and she was so lovely because when I had my Alice in, Wonder in Wonderland Barnes and Noble I said in that haul that um, I really wanted the Jurassic Park one but couldn't get it so I settled for the um, Alice in Wonderland one and she said that she would send it to me but I thought it was too much. Um, you know um and so i said i'd continue to try and find it over here um but i couldn't um but she sent it to me and here it is it's so pretty i was going to do an unboxing on camera but i was too impatient and i just had to open it i'm sorry sue if you wanted me to do an unboxing but i couldn't i couldn't do it it's so nice um, Sue herself has this and every time she sh would show it in a video I was like damn you I could because I couldn't find it but here we go it's so nice thank you so much Sue I can't express how grateful I am that you were willing to do that for me it was amazing and I said at the time you know I was all choked up and that I would cry and I'm trying not to because I think I could quite easily just burst into tears right now because as I'm recording this um i opened it about half an hour before i'm like recording this so i literally got that today as i'm recording it and it's crazy and this sun is really annoying me and that is with the curtain shut the sun is still coming in it's a nightmare she also included some signed bookmarks from casey hilton and where did the other one go i had another one i know i did where did i put it it's got to be around here somewhere Ah, she also sent me some penguin clipover bookmarks which are so cute and Sue knows me so well she got me owl ones well I don't know how you can see that but I love the like Harry Potter one right there well it's so cute and I love the like sassy one there if that's green well I love these so much um ah there it is it was hiding ah I have a My Zombie Ex-Boyfriends, one that's signed, well, and a Saving Mars one, which I know Sue loves that series, so I'm going to try and um, read that series at some point. So, that was those. I was so grateful to both of them. Um, oh, how could I forget? Sue sent me a Toy Story Alien keyring, which I love. I kind of want to put it on my bag, but at the same time I don't because I don't want to ruin it. So I'm thinking it's going to have pride of place on my bookshelf. Um, and I remember one of the, I think the first video of mine that Sue commented on was when I had my little plastic rocket full of um, alien erasers. And she was saying that she liked the minions from Despicable Me and to go and watch... Um, the mini movie Banana because I hadn't watched Despicable Me before and I did and so I owe my love of Despicable Me and the Minions to Sue so I love my little my little alien I'm gonna put him there for now there we go um, so on to books I 
received two books from Chocolate. These are their September releases and they're both historical fiction. Um, first one is A Bargain Struck by Liz Harris. This is where a widower basically advertises for a wife to um, help work on their like ranch I think. Um, it's set in like the um, Old West in yeah in the 1800s in Wyoming. So there's that. And then I have The Reluctant Bride which I think is more of like a Regency. I'm not sure. I, um, yeah. I flicked through this one when I got it and it doesn't seem, it hasn't jumped out at me, which I'm a little disappointed about because I love my um, historical fiction. That light is really getting to me. Is that better? Maybe. Um, so yeah, there's that. Then from Orion, I have The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Really excited for this. Um, the blurb doesn't give much away. Um, but it sounds a bit like the Hunger Games in that um, monsters and humans um, they're made to fight um, inside these walls and it's broadcast on TV um, so yeah I've heard good things about this already even though this this comes out on the 3rd of September and I'm recording this on the 21st of August so um, I've already started to hear some really really good things about that so I haven't read any Holly Black yet and I really need to because I have quite a few of her books now. Um, I have two books from, no I have more than that, um, I have a couple of books from HarperCollins by David Leverthin. Um I have Are We There Yet and Boy Meets Boy. These are new but they have release them with um, new cover designs um, so yeah they're contemporaries um, then I also have from HarperCollins Elegy by Tara Hudson this is the third book in the Hereafter trilogy um, I, ha I bought and have read the first one Hereafter um, I was kind of disappointed for it because when I bought it um, I was really really excited for it and then when I read it it didn't live up to my high expectations but it was still okay I still enjoyed it but I hadn't I haven't bought book two so when HarperCollins sent me the third book I then went out and bought um, book two Arise so I now have the whole trilogy um, from Little Brown I have The Coincidence of Callie and Caden by Jessica Sorensen um, I read The Secret of Ella and Micah um, earlier on this year and loved it and this is another contemporary by her, it's not in the same series, um, it looks so good, I love this cover, love it, um, so super excited to get to this because I really enjoyed The Secret of Ella and Micah. Then from Hodder I have The 100 by Kath Morgan. I didn't request this, this just randomly showed up and I've seen this cover pop up on their Facebook and everything and it I didn't even stop to look at it, I just carried on going through my feed. Um, it didn't like get my attention in any way but actually owning it in person this cover is stunning and I love it, it's become one of my favourite covers. I love the images in the text, I don't know how well you'll be able to make them out but I love them. And this sounds like a post-apocalyptic kind of dystopian. Um, it's about these um, different characters. One was arrested for treason. Um, one guy called Wells is, a ch is the Chancellor's son, um, looking for the girl he loves. Um, some um, are siblings. And it's something... Yeah, it just says, confronted with a savage land and haunted by secrets from their past, the hundred must fight to survive. They were never meant to be heroes, but they may be mankind's last hope. So, um, yeah, it looks and sounds really, really good. This comes out on the 29th of August. Um, another one from Hodder is 
Fathomless by Jackson Pierce. This is a retelling of The Little Mermaid. I read Sisters Read by her and it was an okay read for me. I didn't hate it, but it didn't become like um, one of my favourites or anything. It was it was okay. Um, I haven't read Sweetly, um, but I am interested in Fathomless. I do like The Little Mermaid, but I'm one of those that prefers the Disney version of it rather than the rather depressing original tale. Sue me, you know. Um, but I am excited for that. Then I have a book from Penguin and it's Game Board of the Gods um, by Rochelle Mead. Um, I much prefer the US cover for this but there's this. this is an adult book by her. I tried reading book one in the Vampire Academy series many moons ago but didn't get into it. And haven't gone back to it but I hear such amazing things about Rochelle Mead that I always feel like I should give her a try so I definitely feel like I will try this even though I've heard that it's quite slow and quite dull um, but we shall see another one from Penguin is Here Without You by Tamara Webber this is the fourth book in her Between the Lines series I do have the first one um, but I haven't read it yet I need to get the second and third one which are where you are and good for you i think so um before i read this one i'm going to have to get those there's that then on to books that i've bought um uh, first off is a random used book that i bought on amazon and it's the outlaw viking by sandra hill um you guys probably remember in one of my last hauls I had a Regency um, sort of romance book um, that I remembered taking out of the library and really enjoying and wanting to own a copy of. That's the same with this one. I took this out of the library around the same time, really really loved it and have wanted to reread it but couldn't. Um, I don't go to the library um, very often now at all um, and this was really cheap used on Amazon and I have since reread this. Um, you'll, you'll have probably seen it in a wrap up video. Um, I just loved it. It's such a guilty pleasure. I really like that. Then my mum picked me up a book from the supermarket because she saw it um, and it's Playing the Odds by Nora Roberts. You guys know I pick her books up when I see them and now my mum looks out for them for me as well. Um, this um, was one I'd actually really really wanted because the McGregor books by her are like my favourites of hers and this is one of the early ones um, that I hadn't read so I was super pleased to get this and I have already read this as well so again will have been in probably the same wrap up as that so I don't really want to say too much about it. Um, then I took a trip to the works um, and took advantage of their three for five pound deal and I, I've been recommended this author um, by a librarian actually back when I was going to the library regularly um, when I was taking out Stephanie Lauren's book she said oh try Lisa Claypus and I never did I never picked up a Lisa Claypus book but because these three were in the works and they were three for five pounds and they were like a whole series um, I picked them up I mean it's her Bow Street series and I think there is only three of them so I think I managed to get all three um, and I'm currently as I'm recording this reading one and this is someone to watch over me um, Lady Sophia's lover oh you see that there we go and worth any price so I picked them up and they're just Regency historical romance reads then also in the works I was a little bit surprised to see this and that is The Mortal Instrument City of Bones official illustrated movie companion. Um, you guys um, if you've been following my channel for a while you'll have seen that I did buy the Twilight ones of these, I bought the Hunger Games one, I bought the Host one and I was sent the Beautiful Creatures one but um, I wasn't actually going to buy this um, because it's £13 um, I wouldn't have normally paid that but it's quite a lot for what it is 
and um, I was unsure whether to buy it or not but then when I saw it in the works it was £4.99 which was such a massive saving you know £8 saving so I was like I have to get it since it's that cheap and it is it has been quite nice to look through it and um, with all the big glossy photos because at the time I'm recording this um, I haven't been able to go see the movie because this is the day it actually comes out so I haven't got to see it yet so it's been quite nice to um, flick through it kind of thing on to the last hurdle now um, I bought Infinity Glass by Myra McIntyre this is the third book in her um, Hourglass novels I don't know if this, if this is the last one or if there's going to be more I'm really not sure but these this series has some of my favourite covers to it. Um, I read book one, loved it, absolutely loved it. Haven't got to book two yet, but when this come out, came out, I knew I had to get it. It's pretty plain on the inside there. But yeah, love these covers so much. They're some of my favourites. Um, I think they're so well done. Well, glare. Um, then I picked up another sequel. And that's A Darkness Strange and Lovely by Susan Dennard. This is the sequel to Something Strange and Deadly, I think. Yeah. Um, haven't got to that yet, but I've heard nothing but really good things about it. So um, I know Sue Morrow really enjoyed that book, so I knew that I wanted to, to get it. And this came from the book depository, and I love that I got one of their quote new quote marks. Um... So yeah, I was glad about that. I'll put that there actually so I don't lose that. Then I was so excited for this. This was actually um, pre-order and I got A Beast and Beauty by Stacey J. Retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which is like my favourite fairy tale ever, ever. Um, so I was so excited for this. Um, and I believe it has both the Beast and the um, Beauty's like... Um, perspectives so it looks really interesting love this cover the rose is actually um, slightly raised um, like embossed type thing um, and at the time I'm recording this I am um, this I believe is going to be um, the September buddy read for Ryan Hart's books and um, Ryan Reed's books and Emma Hart's books and I um, so so excited to get this. It's been so hard to not read it until um, the buddy read because it's one I've really been wanting to get to. And then the very very last book that I have is Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tuchel. I don't know. Uh, if you know how to say that, well, 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 please let me know. Um, this one is one I haven't heard a lot about, but when I saw it on Goodreads and then I read it, it just stuck in my head. And as it um, it was coming out like a couple of in a couple of days' time when I like came across it, and it was just on my mind. So my mum actually gave me an Amazon um, gift code thing that she got because of whatever net phone network she's on or whatever she had it and she gave it to me and um it sounds very typical why a paranormal romancy with um like a girl coming across this mysterious boy but it's supposed to be quite dark um and sort of like a why horror which there aren't many of um like you have Anna Dressed in Blood and that's really all I have that's considered YA horror and Kendra Blake actually blurbs the back of this and it sounds so good and so they say the writing is fantastic and like I said it's supposed to be quite dark so I'm really pleased that I decided to just go ahead and pick this up so that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm sorry it was a bit long but as you can see i had tons of things to show you thanks again to jen and bell for my lovely moustache bookmark that i'm going to be using all of the time um and to see for my wonderful wonderful book and the little extras that she included i feel so loved and i'm so grateful to everyone so 
thank you guys so much and i will see you guys soon happy reading